The standard application may be used to register most works, including a work by one author, a joint work, a work made for hire, a derivative work, a collective work, or a compilation. To submit an application using the standard application, first log into your ECHO account. Click Standard Application under the Copyright Registration heading on the left side of the home page. Review the information on the Registration Process Overview screen, particularly the list of works that cannot be registered with the standard application. If your work is eligible for the standard application, click Start Registration to proceed. Otherwise, click the Back button to return to the home screen and select one of the other registration options listed on that screen. Next, click the Type of Work drop-down and select the entry from the drop-down list that best describes the work you seek to register. As you click on the entries in the list, a description of the corresponding type of work will be provided. After selecting the type of work that best describes the work you are registering, check the box confirming that you have read the description provided for your choice. To proceed with the application, click Continue at the top of the screen. On the Titles screen, click New to enter the title of your work. Select Title of Work Being Registered in the Title Type drop-down, then enter the title of the work in the space provided. Click Save to return to the previous screen. Repeat this process if you need to add additional titles. When all title information has been entered, click Continue. On the Publication Completion screen, select either Yes or No from the drop-down list to answer the question, Has this work been published? If the work has not been published, enter the year in which the work was completed. If the work has been published, enter the year in which the work was completed and the date on which publication first occurred. Select the nation in which the work was first published from the drop-down list. If an international standard number has been assigned to the work, please enter this information in the spaces provided. Otherwise, leave those spaces blank. In either case, click Continue to save this information and proceed. On the Authors screen, you will give information about the creator of the work being registered. If you are the author of the work, you may click Add Me to enter your information. If you are completing the application on behalf of the author, click New and enter the author's information in the spaces provided. After entering the required information, click Save. Check one or more boxes describing the author's contribution to the work. If an appropriate box is not provided, you may provide a brief description of the author's contribution in the Other space. After providing the author's contribution, click Save. If the work was created by two or more co-authors, click New to enter this same information for the other authors. After providing information for all authors, click Continue to proceed to the Claimant screen. If you are the claimant for this work, click Add Me to give your name and address. If you are completing the application on behalf of the claimant, Click New and enter the claimant's information in the spaces provided. If the claimant is not the author of the work, you must provide a transfer statement to explain how the claimant obtained ownership of the copyright. Click Save to return to the previous screen. If the work is co-owned by two or more claimants, click New to enter this same information for the other claimants. When all claimants have been identified, click Continue. 
If the work you are registering contains material that has been previously published, is in the public domain, or has been previously registered with the Copyright Office, complete the Limitation of Claim screen to identify the pre-existing material that should be excluded from this claim and the new material that should be included in the claim. For previously registered material, enter the registration number and year of registration in the spaces provided. If this work does not contain any pre-existing material, please leave all spaces on this screen blank. In either case, click Continue to proceed. On the Rights and Permissions screen, you may identify the person who should be contacted regarding copyright management information or permission to use this work. Any information you enter here will appear in the office's online catalog and may be viewed by visitors to the office's website. Do not complete the Rights and Permissions screen unless you want this contact information to be included in the office's online record. On the Correspondence screen, give information for the individual the Copyright Office should contact to answer questions that may arise during the examination of your claim. On the Mail Certificate screen, enter the address where the registration certificate should be mailed. Special Handling is an expedited service that requires a significant surcharge fee. It is granted only if a registration is needed on an expedited basis for pending or prospective litigation, customs matters, or contract or publishing deadlines. Do not complete this screen unless you qualify for and intend to pay for expedited service. The application must be certified by the author, copyright claimant, or owner of exclusive rights or by an authorized agent of one of these parties. Check the box to confirm that you are authorized to certify the application and enter your name as the certifying individual. Click Continue to review the information provided in the application. Carefully review the information you entered before proceeding further. Use the links in the navigation bar to go back and make corrections if needed. Click Add to Cart to pay the fee and submit your application. After payment is confirmed, you will receive an email confirming the receipt of your application and payment. To complete the submission process, you must send a copy of the work being registered. Click Continue to Proceed. The application you just submitted will be displayed on a new screen. Before sending your work, review the information provided to determine whether physical or electronic copies are required. Before you upload electronic copies, consult the list of file types that will be acceptable by the system. To upload files, click the green Select a File for Upload button. A new window will open, allowing you to select one or more files from your computer. Select a file to be uploaded and click Open. In general, the work should be uploaded as one digital file. Only in limited cases will you need to upload multiple files, such as when you are registering a jewel redesign and you need to upload multiple images to show the front and back of the piece. The file you selected will be displayed with the corresponding application. Be sure a complete copy of the work being registered has been selected for upload. Click the blue Start Upload button to upload your file. Once the file has been uploaded, Successfully Uploaded will be added in front of the file name. Click the Complete Your Submission button to confirm that all files for this application have been uploaded. You will receive an email from the Copyright Office confirming receipt of your file. To send a physical copy of your work, click Create Shipping Slip on the bottom of the screen. In a moment, a Shipping Slip attachment link will be added to the screen. Click the link to open and print the Shipping Slip. 
attach the shipping slip to the physical copy of your work before mailing it to the address printed on the bottom of the shipping slip. This completes all steps for submitting your work using the standard application.